guess what? I got a surprise for y'all. Twerking is not our culture. We gonna come out here, we gonna risk our lives. Right. We gonna put our lives on the line so that you can change it. Somebody did it for us. Right. Right. That time is over. Right. We're taking back what's ours. Right. 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 This earth is ours. Right. Right. Everything on here belongs to us. Cause I got sand in my boots and dust in my eyes, but it's okay. As long as they got fear in their eyes and hurt in their soul, then it's okay. And it's okay. Yeah. South Carolina. Blitz. What? As long as I got sand in my boots and dust in my eyes, then I'm okay. So what can I get? So why do they lie to us with this? You see what I'm saying? Because whoever controlled the slave mind controlled the slaves. So they put this in your mind, so now you don't have no self-love for yourself no more. Okay. I'm sick of this, okay. the Jews and wickedness the They ride on their bikes, not ride on guys I'm tired of this wish, okay It's not the best hey, 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 hey. You're not about to do that dollar hey, 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 hey. But God to be a whore But God says, y'all are not to be whores Because y'all the best women on the face of the earth Yeah, 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 Hey, real quick, real quick. Hey, give me Zephaniah chapter 2, verse, verse 1. Hey, we got all these black people out here. All of these black people. How much spending power do you think that we have out here? As all of us. A lot, right? You know, if you look up the statistics, black people alone, the black man and the black woman, they spend over $1.8 trillion a year. But we out here on the bottom. We out, we the ones that's in the hood and in the ghettos. Our women out here are uh, prostituting themselves. Go ahead, read that. Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together. O nation not desired. Don't you think, what's your name? Tali, don't you think right now will be a great opportunity for the black man to gather themselves together? That's right. And what? In the spirit of Christ, so we know how to move. Right. So we can fix our communities. Right. Ain't you tired of the murder? Right. Ain't you tired of the killing? Right. What about all you black men and black women out here? Right. Ain't y'all tired of the destruction of our people? Right. But y'all out here chasing ass. Right. Y'all out here chasing tail. Right. When we gonna grow up as men and right. hey, fix that? Y'all waiting to the... Go ahead, read, read it again. Gather yourselves together. Uh -huh. Yay! Gather together. Oh, nation not desire. Guess what? You are that nation not desire. Right. They're the ones that's coming into our neighborhoods, taking it away from us. Right. Coming into our neighborhoods, killing us. Right. But guess what? We kill ourselves as well. Right. Because you don't know who you are. Right. This yeah. woman down there walking down the street with her breasts out, she don't know who she is. Right. Right. She don't know that you royalty. She don't know that she's supposed to be royalty. Right. We lost out here. We that lost sheep. We the ones that be rectified in our mind. We the ones that need to be changed. Now I hear prostituting our women because now you got single parent households. You got baby mamas. You got these kids growing up to be gangsters and thugs. They out here oppressing their own people. When are y'all gonna get tired of this? All of this spending power here and y'all ain't doing nothing with it. Y'all doing absolutely nothing with it. 8 point trillion, 8, 1.8 trillion dollars. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Read it again. Gather yourselves together. Yay. Gather together. Oh nation, not desire. But the Bible says to gather yourselves together. Oh nation, not desire. You know how I know you're nation, not desire? Because your people got the knee on their neck until they die after 8 minutes and 49 seconds. You the ones that get pulled over, end up in a jail cell. You don't never make it home to your people. You the ones that's getting destroyed. You the ones that's getting hung on trees down here in the south. All over, it really don't matter. All over the earth, they destroying our people. And they want to they see y'all walk around like this, lost. And then on drugs and then on alcohol and all that. They want to see you like that because then they get to stay on top. While you remain on the bottom and spend all your got spend all your money with them. You understand? So when are you going to make that change? It's going to start with you. Since you're the only one that's listening. Out of all this swarm of people. Bring it out.
they, you know what that showed me? That they really don't care about their community. They can say all of that, but they really don't give a damn about their community. But right now, you're looking at a different breed. We care. We gonna come out here, we gonna risk our lives. We gonna put our lives on the line so that you can change it. Somebody did it for us. You understand? Go ahead, read that again. Come on. Gather yourselves together. Yay! Gather together, O oh nation, not desire. Before the decree bring forth. Before the day pass as the chance. Before the decree bring forth. Before Christ come back and destroy the enemies of Israel and the two thirds that refuse to repent. How y'all doing? Watch this, watch this. I wanna show you, I wanna show y'all something. What's your nationality, sis? You black, sir right here with the champion hat on. What's your nationality? Same thing, sis right here with the orange dress on, uh, orange bathing suit. What's your nationality? Huh? Oh, okay, okay. If you was to go fill out an application, what would you put? Right. You're black, sis right here, what would you put? Black, what would you put, sir? Black, you see that? I'm looking at four young uh, uh, men and women that don't know who they na what their nationality is. Give me Isaiah uh, chapter one, verse three. Yeah. Our people are laws. Christ, Christ said uh, the lost sheep will hear his voice. Right. So if you're about Christ, you're going to hear his voice. Right. You're going to hear your identity. Right. You're going to hear your true culture. Right. Guess what? I got a surprise for y'all. Twerking is not our culture. Right. Smoking right. weed is not our culture. Right. Game banging is not our culture. Right. We are better than that. We're supposed to be the gods of the earth. Right. The princesses of the earth. Right. Our sister's feet not even supposed to touch the ground. Huh? We is, why are you like that? Why are you like that? That's the question. Right. What happened? Why are we like that? Give me a, uh, hold that, hold that. Give me Jeremiah chapter five, verse 19. Huh? I said, cause he, no matter how hard we try, you will never be perfect. You no, you, okay, hold on to that thought. Hold on to that thought. He said, no matter how hard we try, nobody will never be perfect. Christ was perfect, but the no word, one was perfect. Hold on, we gonna read this. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna answer the first question, go ahead. Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 19. Yeah. And it shall come. Understand, in. this is correction for our people. That's this is right. the solutions for our people. Right. I right. asked this young man if he's is he tired of the killings in our neighborhood. That's a question posed to y'all. Are y'all tired of the murders? Are y'all tired of the drug dealing? Or you are accomplice of it? Are you the problem or will you be the solution? Right. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. when ye shall say. Wherefore does the Lord our God all these things unto us? Why does God do these things to us? Why did he put chains on our neck? Why did he bring us over here on slave ships? Why are we in the ghettos? Why are we at the bottom? Why do we spend all our money, our power with these other nations that don't give a damn about you? That's the question that we need to ask ourselves if you want to see change. If you want to be resurrected in your mind. If not, then continue to lay in your squalor. Continue to lay and be on the bottom, but we refuse to be that for us to, for that to be us. Right. We refuse for that to be. Right. That thing stopped today. Right. Go ahead, read, read again. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. when ye shall say, Wherefore doth the Lord our God all these things unto us? Uh -huh. Why is God doing these things to us? Go ahead. Then shalt thou answer them, uh -huh. like as ye have forsaken me, uh -huh. and served strange gods. And you God. have forsaken. Forsaken God. Remember the other four brothers I was out here? They all had this man. Who is this man? And I don't want to deviate, but I just want to, I want to make a point. Who is this? Who is this? Is that Caesar? It is Caesar. But who do y'all think? Who, who does the world know that to be? Jesus. Huh? That's Jesus. My man right here with the teeth said it's Jesus. That's Jesus. That ain't Jesus. That ain't Jesus. That ain't but can you prove can you can you prove this out of the Bible? Sometimes we actually know this stuff too, that's all. Okay, but do we know that we're not supposed to be out here dressed in modestly? Do we know that we're not supposed to be out here on the Sabbath day buying and selling? These are the things that I'm talking about. We are lost, we do not know our true heritage. Do we know our identity? I asked all four or five of y'all what your nationality is. Each one of y'all told me black. That is the color of my man. Well, he starts his bread. That's the color of your shorts, bro. True. I you want to ask me. I ain't ask you. I ain't ask you. That's okay. I don't need to ask you. I asked your peers. I asked your peers. Go ahead, read that again. And it shall come. Hold on, don't try to go. I didn't even get the answer. 
This is what I'm saying. Y'all think this? Y'all think he? No, he not. No, he not. He's not even gonna talk to you in the state that you're in. You're not even gonna be able to send your prayers up in the state that you're in. Y'all think we're gonna do that? 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 Y'all and serve strange gods in your land, so shall ye serve strangers in a land that is not yours. That's what we're doing right now. We're serving strange. We're serving strangers in a land that is not ours. Right. This land isn't ours. We walk around here with our tails out, with our chest out, right. like we free, right. like we liberal, like we can just do whatever we want. Right. But we at the bottom. That's right. Y'all not free. Right. Y'all not free in this state. Give me uh, so identity. Give me Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse fifteen. Oh. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Yeah. But it shall come to pass. Before you leave out of here today, you're going to realize who you truly are. I know you said Judah, but we're going to prove it out of the Bible who you truly are, all right? Go ahead. But we're going to learn about true unity. That's right. Because we're not looking at unity right now. This is not unity. Right. Oh. Our women should be tired of these dogs that only want to holler at them for what they got under their pants. Our women should be tired of being single parent, being single parent household. Look at, look at this. Is this the type of women that y'all want to marry? Go ahead, read that. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Most High told Moses to tell the children of Israel, if we do not listen to his law, statutes, and commandments, instead of you being on top, guess what? You're going to be on the bottom and you're going to be a cursed people. Any neighborhood we go into, I can just look around and I can see that we curse people. We at the bottom. We out here killing each other, murdering, game banging. When are we going to get tired of this? What about y'all? Hey, my, my brother's right here. Wes, my brothers and my sisters. All right, go ahead. Uh, give me verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. I'm sorry, give me verse 46 real quick. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So the day or the curses shall be upon us for a sign and for a wonder. What does a sign do for us? What would a sign do for you? I know that street is Mr. Joe White Ave because it would tell you the right way. It would identify something. It would uh, put something in your head that you did not know prior. Correct? Read it again. Then they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So these curses are going to be an identifying marker to uh, recognize who you so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native American Indians really are. Because those names that I just mentioned, it's not your true identity. Those are the names that your slave masters put on you. Those are the names that Europeans put on you. Those are the slave, same names that your captives branded on you. Understand that thing. But now we out here, we think we free because you can come to the Black Bike Week and you can do whatever the hell you want. You think you all right. Go ahead. Verse 32, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. What's your name again, sir? I'm sorry. Tali. Tali. Our sons and daughters shall be given unto another people. Did that happen in history to our people? When did that happen? In slavery time. In slavery time. Give me a date. You got a date? Don't worry about it. I'll help you out. There you go. There you go. Wouldn't this be uh, a depiction of that? Yes. Nigga, nigga sold to Master Charles in West Virginia. Nigga, nigga sold right here in Myrtle Beach. You know what I mean? We were sold. So do we not fit that curse right there? Remember, these curses will be our identifying marker for us to realize who we are. So you say you fit that. So, so far, you can't be that black. You can't be that, that black that you called yourself. You better than that. The black is just, you can't go to the land of black. It doesn't exist. That heritage that we claim, it does not exist. Right. It's the nigger was made right here in America. Right. And we tired of our people being niggas. Right. We tired of our sister being thoughts. Right. Okay, it's high time that we wake up and come out of that slumber that we're in. Right. Go ahead. And that I shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Our eyes will look and fail for our children that was taken away from us by force, by murder, by rape, 
by pillage. Our eyes will be looking fell and longing for them all the day long, but we have no military might. This goes back to how I started off with you, about unity. We have no military might. We have no economic might. We have no political might. So our unity is worth nothing. Our unity that they be talking about is worth nothing. Everything we have, we give it back to them. But we're not going to give our nationality to them. That time is over. We're not going to give our culture to them. That time is over. We're taking back what's ours. This earth is ours. Everything on here belongs to us. Give me uh, Daniel chapter 7 verse 18. Give me Daniel chapter 7 verse 18. It's high time that you men wake up. Stop chasing tail and worry about your communities. How do you fix, how do you, what solutions do y'all have to correct what's going on right. in our neighborhoods. Right. What do y'all have? Right. We keep looking to them. We keep looking to them for help. They ain't never helped us. Right. Did they help you when they had that them yokes of iron on your neck? Right. Did they help you when they had you on them chains and uh, had you on them slave ships? Right. Did they help you when they took your wife from you and banged her right, right there in front of you? Right. Did they help you then? Right. Nah, they didn't help you. What makes you think they're going to help you now? Right. Hey, Yes, yeah, you had to hold her down. Right. Don't don't worry, let baby. Me, it's gonna be all right. Let just let's just straight. get through it. Get the hell with that! Right. You got to be kidding me. Right. Why y'all not upset? Right. Why are you not mad? Cause they whipped y'all into submission. Right. To the point that you'll call yourself black. You'll wreck it all. You'll bring yourself down into these ghettos and you proud of it. You happy with to be a gangbanger. You happy to be a thot. You happy to be a thug. You know how I know that? Cause y'all walk around calling yourselves real niggas. Rashim Carter, y'all know about Rashim Carter? Do you know who Rashim Carter is? You don't know who Rashim Carter is? Rashim Carter was a brother in uh, Mississippi. He went to go work for the so-called white man that y'all love oh so much. He went to go work for them. Guess what? They hunted this brother down like he was cattle. They hunted him down like he was nothing. They murdered him and decapitated him and cut his head off. And you know who he ran to for help? Do you know who he ran to? This is the unity that I'm talking about. They have unity, but we don't have none. You know who they ran to, for, who for Rasheem Carter ran to for help when he was in trouble? No. He didn't run to blacks. Give me, hold that. Give me, I'm gonna I'm, I'm make my point. Give me uh, Lamentations chapter 4, verse 17. You know who he ran to for help? He ran to your so called white man that y'all love so much. He ran to the police station that says on their cars, protect and serve. But it ain't protecting and serving you. He didn't run to the church. He didn't run to the church. He ran to the white man. And guess what? That white man did not help him whatsoever. That's scripture. Go ahead and read this. Lamentations chapter 4 and verse 17. Oh, as for us, our eyes as yet fail for our vain help. Who's the us? We are the us. Right. We are the ones that need the help. We are that nation that's not desired. Right. Right. That's us. So called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. The 12 tribes of Israel. Right. 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 Read it again. As for us, our eyes as yet fail for our vain help. They failed our watching. When we go to these other nations, our, it failed. Our hope and our labor thinking that they will help us, it failed. Right. Their help was vain. Right. Go ahead. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. We have watched for a nation that could not save us. That same nation that bring us over here on cargo slave ships. Right. Yeah. That had us in the transatlantic slave uh, trafficking. Right. Not trade. Right. Yeah. On this ocean right here, you came from far. You came from the west coast of Africa. They came over here and took our northern kingdom brothers and sisters, uh, uh, sisters over here from uh, the, the Americas over to the other side of the world. But we look for this nation for help today. But the Bible says that this nation will not help you. An example, Rashim Carter went into the police station because he was being hunted like a dog. Right. Okay, and they did not help him. They said, get out of here, nigga. You on your own, nigga. Right. Right. 
That's how they feel about you. But you love them all so much. And I'm not talking about you per se, I'm talking about us as a whole, in general. Go back to Deuteronomy, was there more? Go ahead. They hunt our steps. And let me, let me make that point. And not only did they just hunt him, they cut his skull off in various parts of his bodies and they put him in different places that the people couldn't even find him. And they still giving remains to her mother to this very day. That's a traumatized people. This happened about a, a year ago, about a year, a year and a half ago, right? And nobody been arrested, and uh, nobody still never been arrested. Give me, uh, I forgot where I was about to go. Give me Deuteronomy uh, uh, 28, and you should have no ease. I think it's like 60, 65. Go ahead. This is a curse. Remember, we was reading through the curses. We're reading through the curses to identify who we are. You gotta equate what happened back then and what's happening today to our people to identify who you are. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 65. And among these nations, and among these nations, among the so-called white man, among the so-called Chinese man, because right in North Carolina, remember our women, our women, look at our women, look at our women. Our women will go to these era, I mean Chinese stores, and they'll go and buy their hair that they selling. Remember that unity, that unity that we were speaking about. They'll go and spend their money with them. But meanwhile, when they don't trust you, because they don't trust us, they'll beat you up and drag you out of their stores. And then when the black man try to come to the aid of the black woman, they shame the black man like we're doing something wrong. Because they have uh, successfully put us against one another. Right. Okay, that's why the woman thinks she over the man today. Right. That's why our men is soft as hell. Right. They out here feminists, whatever. Right. Out here switching. Come on now. What happened to the leaders? What happened to the real men? What happened to the uh, Malcolm X's, the Martin Luther Kings? What happened to men that stood up for something? Go ahead, read that. And among these nations uh -huh. shalt thou find no ease. Shall we find no ease? Rasheem Carter had no ease. Uh, George Floyd had no ease. Sandra Bland had no ease. Tamir Rice. Okay, we can keep going down the, huh? And they ain't got no ease, that's why they out here trying to Exactly, and we don't got no ease to this very day. They out here, they got a rule over y'all and watch y'all make sure y'all don't act rowdy and act up. We supposed to be the gods of the earth. But this base people is running over us. Right. When we yeah. supposed to run the world. Right. Make it make sense. It don't make no it don't make no sense whatsoever. Because we become docile. Right. We become soft and effeminate. Right. It's high time that you men wake up. Right. I know y'all hear me. Y'all can act like y'all don't. I know you hear me. Right. Go ahead. Neither shall the soul of thy foot have rest. Uh Rashim Carter, his feet had no rest. He running, he high and ducking. They got him on camera, right. in the woods, hiding from his oppressors, hiding from his murderers, for hiding from his uh, executioners. Right. Understand that thing, go ahead. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart. But the Lord is gonna give us a trembling heart. We, we, you know how I know that we have a trembling heart? Because we got gentrification going on in our neighborhoods, right, you know what that is? Gentrification is when uh, black people live in a certain neighborhood, and when the white people want it, want it, they'll start to, you know, build it up, fix it, and then they'll start to move in. Did you know that black, uh, black on white crime, out of all the crime in the world, black on white crime is only two percent. So what is that telling you? What is that telling you? Black, and they know this. Black on white crime is only 2%. That's why they can come into your neighborhoods. It can be one of the worst neighborhoods. They can come into your neighborhoods and they free to ride their bikes. They free to jog. If we lie, let them read. Oh yeah, we, we can read this. We're gonna read about Rasheem Carter. All right, so that's why they can come into your neighborhoods and they can they can move in. Meanwhile, Tyrone just got robbed of the block. Right. Uh, 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 the sister just got killed up the block. Right. But they can come into your neighbors, they can jog. Right. They can ride their bikes. Right. They can bump their music. They can right. do whatever they want. Because right. they know that they safe in your neighborhood. Because right. you ain't going to touch them. Why? Because they your God. Right. They have become your God. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This, this, this is the effect. Go back to that Deuteronomy. Give me, give me that Deuteronomy again. 2022. 20, 22 years ago. You see, you see the picture of what they did to our brother? 
That's how you know they hate your guts. And they want to see y'all continue in the squalor that we're in. Go ahead, read that again. And equate that to the picture that we just read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 65. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease. Right there, what you just seen, the brothers being decapitated, his skull being severed. That, that wasn't a chopping mark. That was that was really fine, a fine cut. Meaning they took the, huh? Brutal. Terrorism. They took they did detail, much detail. A, cir a circle of soul, right. You understand that? That's the hatred that they have for us. Go ahead. Neither shall the soul of thy foot have rest. Steve Carter had no rest. He had no rest. He couldn't go to anywhere for help. He was even texting his mom saying, if anything happens to me, the people that I worked with, which were Caucasians, they did this to me. But to this very day, he has not, nobody's, there's no arrest. There's no arrest. But we walk, we walk around with, let me see that. Can I see that for one second, please? One second, please. But we walk around with this on our necks. Like he, like he, he ever loved us. Did he love us when he did this to us? Did he love Rashim Carter when he murdered Rashim Carter like that, executed him? But we rock this around our neck like he about to save us. You got to be kidding me. When has he ever saved you from anything? When? Y'all tell me as black men, as young black men that's supposed to be leaders in your communities, when have this so-called white man ever saved you from anything? This is the opportunity for us as melanated people to come together because they do have a Harley week and then they want to call this Black Bike Week. I didn't know that, but no, I don't figure this is for us. The racism is still here. The racism is still here. It wouldn't be a Harley week and a Black Bike week if it wasn't. See what I'm saying? Man, we at Murder Beach for the Black Beach Bike of Weekend, whatever it's called, man. The prophets are here to wake our people up, man. A lot of people, man, it's time to repent and come out this foolishness, man. You got this place swarming with our people. You would, you would think we're gathering together with something good, but it's not. It's filth out here. You even got brothers walking around with their wives half naked. What are we doing? We're out here showing our people there's a better way. There's a better example. This image messed us up. And that's why we are here to show you what the real image is. Nation is 